Welcome back to Latin Cuisine. And now I'm going to continue the show with a wonderful dish that my mother really couldn't make enough for us. Chile rellenos. Chile rellenos are made of anine chilies, nice big green chilies, mostly grown in New Mexico. Chilies were introduced to the Americas in about the 1600s from a general from Spain and it's spread worldwide. There's hundreds of chilies across the world that are introduced in all forms of recipes. But this is what I'm gonna bring you today. This is a very unique thing to do. The first thing we have to do is char these chilies. So what we have to do is take this off a moment, put it on the burner, take about two or three minutes, and if you'll see what I'm doing, sit there for a few minutes, and it'll start charring the outer surface. We have to remove the skin. Our next process will be to skin it. So if you notice, and while we're doing this, we'll put our oil to get it nice and hot. We take a sharp knife, very carefully, scrape the skin right off, the burnt skin, the charred skin of the chile relleno. See how easy that is? You gotta make sure you do char the entire surface because if you don't, it's very difficult to come off and you don't want to have that in your finished product. Complete this all, all the way around. See how easy that is? No trouble at all. Then, as soon as we finish this, we'll get up a pound of jack of um, cheddar cheese. Mild or sharp, whatever you prefer. prefer. And Shred it so it's nice and thin. So when you stuff the chilies, it's easy to melt. Next process, you usually want to just real quickly run it under running water to clean it really nice. Watch what I do next. I simply take a sharp knife, make a nice little incision right there, and you've opened up the chilies. Take a little spoon and make sure, take all the membrane that's in the chili and as much of the seeds as you can. If you like a spicy, uh, if you like a spicy, uh, oh, I'm sorry, finished product, leave us some of the seeds in there. But I don't particularly like too many spicy foods, even though I'm Mexican descent, and it seems like all Mexicans love chili. I don't like it that hot. So what again, I just simply take this all out. There we are, ready to stuff. Next process, after you clean off your board, you would rinse it under the faucet to make sure there's nothing left in there and on your existing seeds. We we'll take some cheddar cheese. Very easy, stuff it. Put as much as you like. Sometimes when you go out commercially, they're a little chintzy with the cheese, but when you're making them at home, stuff as much as you can because it's really nice to have all this cheese melt when you cut into it. And there we are. Next, there it is, you overlap the skin. You dip in a fresh, all-purpose flour, cover it, and there you are, ready to go. Not quite done yet. Next, we take this, and in this ingredients, this is our batter. We have one cup flour, one cup milk, one egg, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon of granola oil. Stir it very good, but beat it nice so it is nice, smooth. You're all ready to go. Put it right next to your preheated skillet, and we're ready to go. Here they are your finished product. Your chile rellenos stuffed with cheese, skinned and powdered with flour. Watch carefully, it's very easy. Here we are, make sure it's overlapped so this doesn't, sometimes it comes out but it won't hurt a thing. You dip it in the batter, let it drip a little bit, you don't want to lose too much of it so that it won't be too thin. I like a nice thick batter and drop them in hot, oil. 
they're going really nice right now. So I guess I could put them all on at one time. Here's one. Take the other one, flip it over. But you be careful, make sure you wear gloves and or have some tongs. There you are, see how nice and brown they're going? Take the other one, it's about done. Turn it over and you have a nice brown chillet hand. We have one more here. Because we don't know how hungry these people are out there. Uh, there's a little not room, room for that, so we'll just wait a moment. Because it only takes about a minute or two when the oil's heated quite well. It looks like it's almost done. So we'll take our first chile relleno, which is finished. There you are, nicely brown. Let's put it right here on this beautiful dish. And as the other one is cooking, let's add that last one. There we are, cooking very nice. This one is also finished. Turn it over one more time, make sure it is done. And there you have your chile relleno. And while that's cooking, I had these other already finished for you, and here's your finished product of chile rellenos, nicely golden brown, stuffed with cheddar cheese. Let's put them on this beautiful dish so that we can make a nice presentation, and so our gal Susie can serve them. Here we are. Right there we are. Okay, there we are. And then we have our chile rellenos. Ready to go, stuff with cheddar cheese. Not very hard to do. Make sure your oil is good and hot. 